We're so glad you joined us and we are here to introduce to you the January Small Business Winner of the Month for the Rocky Mount Chamber of Commerce, Brian Vick. Hey, Brian. Hey, hello. Congratulations. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, this is a, a way that we as the Chamber and Johnny's going to, Johnny Bass, who is the, the Chairman of the Small Business Committee for the Chamber, we like to really honor our local business owners and people who have been successful and people who are in Rocky Mount and just doing all they can to make this a great place to live and, and you've been chosen as such. Well, I, I appreciate it. I'm very honored. Uh, so um, it's, uh, it's been a long 10 year uphaul climb. So uh, we, uh, it's, this is good, to, good feeling. Well, good. Well, we're gonna right now take a look at the ribbon cutting ceremony when all these wonderful people come and came and cut the ribbon and, and gave you the honor and then we'll be right back. All right. Oh, I just, well, I'm going to be going to Argentina in a minute. Every evening. There you Brian, go. Brian, on behalf of uh, the Rocky Mountain Area Chamber of Commerce, we'd like to present you with the uh, Small Business of the Month for January. It's uh, part of the Chamber's uh, mission is to promote small business, and uh, you've done such a great job here at uh, Brian's Cheesesteak uh, with uh, starting off to the right where you, you began over there in a little small place and five years later in 2006 she decided to, to step it up and move into a larger location uh, up to 16 employees now which is a great success story and we're we're pleased to name you the uh, January 2012 small business of the month which uh, makes you eligible for the small business of the year so congratulations on behalf of our over 700 uh, members of the Rocky Mount Chamber of Commerce and we're proud to have you as a member of our chamber well, thank you so much. I, I appreciate it, and I appreciate uh, Rocky Mountain patronizing our business. So thank you, Rocky Mountain. So thank you so much. We certainly enjoy I know everybody certainly enjoys coming in and eating here at Brian's. I know uh, my kids especially love the jukeboxes you have next to the, uh, right. the booths That's and, right. uh, That's right. and the technology that you have incorporated and the great customer service that you have. Your, your folks do a mighty fine job, in which uh, creates a loyal customer base which I know you depend on. And I know you have some vendors here with Cisco and, and that's good that you have a loyal uh, uh, vendors that you can depend on. Exactly, exactly. Uh, this is my backbone here and uh, uh, we order exclusively from Cisco and uh, uh, the certified Angus beef program has really uh, uh, been a tremendous success here. And uh, uh, I think we're about four months into the program and it's, and it's really been a, a huge success. So. It's been a win-win situation. Well, that's great. And also incorporating the fact that you can order online and get a discount. And uh, I'm sure that um, helps with uh, bringing more business in here and, and getting them in and out in a, in a quick manner because everybody's time is valuable. That's right. That's right. And if you do order online, it's for to-go only. And uh, we do uh, uh, we reward you for 10% off. So. Uh, well, that's wonderful. Uh, and I'm sure everybody will be happy to know that. Exactly. Uh, again, so. the January Small Business of the Month, Brian's Cheesesteak. Thank you. Brian, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we're back. And what we really want to learn and, and what's so important, I think, to all of us, when there's a successful person, especially as Johnny mentioned earlier when I was talking to him, in the restaurant business, I mean, that's quite a coup. That speaks volumes um, of your background and your work ethic and whatnot. But, Johnny, why don't you kind of with your – common interest with him kind of discuss with him the business background of, the, of Brian's cheesesteaks. Thank you Gene I'll be glad to do that. Uh, Brian and I first met back in about 1985-86 uh, when Brian was a young man just I guess finishing still in high school in the early stages yep. and we worked with a restaurant here in town. Brian was uh, was one of the bus boys and with that in mind uh, as we as Gene just mentioned we have a lot of successful restaurants in our town and in all towns, but the thing that's very unique about Brian in particular is that the restaurant, independent restaurant, non-franchisee restaurants is one of the highest failure rates or has one of the highest failure rates of any segment of the business industry. And Brian has been extremely successful here in Rocky Mount over the past 10 years or longer than 10 years now. Yeah, a little about, bit over 10 years. A little bit over 10 years. And uh, we'll let Brian talk briefly about uh, 
how he started in the restaurant industry and what he how he laid the groundwork to be uh, his own boss here in the restaurant business. Well, you know, I started out in uh, in high school uh, at a restaurant here in town and. Uh, uh, do I mention names? You may, sir. Okay, uh, which is Weston Sizzlin, and uh, and I worked there for about three years. And we, uh, I first started out bussing tables, and uh, I think that's probably probably the best place to start, you know, because you really don't don't know much. And uh, <clears throat> so we, uh, I bus tables for a while, and uh, and then I moved up to uh, uh, fry cook position, and. Uh, you know, we, I did that for a little while, and then I moved up to Cook's position, and uh, you know, I, I guess I kind of uh, got a knack for learning how to cook, and uh, uh, so basically, uh, uh, then I moved up uh, into the cutting meat in the uh, in the meat department, and uh, and uh, so basically, I think it was about three years altogether that that I worked there. My next uh, movement was to go into management and uh, uh, I choose to uh, to start my own business and I went into the painting business at that time and that was in 1985 so uh, so I learned a lot about the restaurant business uh, working with uh, with Tommy Clyde and uh, you know so uh, uh, you know it, it, even t to this day you know I kind of put myself in the situation what would he do and uh, so basically, uh, you know, that was that was worth, you know, that, that was my four years college, you know, the learning. So uh, the hard knocks. So he, Tommy is certainly a great role model. He's been very successful here in the community and he's given back to the community in many ways. And especially with a young man like yourself. And you mentioned cutting meat. People don't realize that uh, in your better restaurants the meat doesn't come in the door frozen it's always fresh and there's certain qualities to it right and here at Brian's in particular uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the meat that you serve okay we use uh, certified Angus beef uh, it, it's, it's it's the best that money can buy period uh, the uh, let me ask you best in what way well the it, it, it's best that the end results is, is, is best in taste uh, you know, there, there are stages to get through uh, to make sure when you sit down at the table, you taste it. And uh, basically there's 10 scientific specifications that, that must be met. And if any of them are not met, it doesn't qualify to be certified as beef. Even though the government, the government regulates uh, the beef industry, they regulate uh, what is Angus and what's not Angus. And, um, just because it's Angus doesn't mean it's certified Angus beef. Uh, certified Angus beef puts it through 10 uh, scientific specifications, and if it meets all 10, then it becomes certified Angus beef. And Brian, you can't, because of having that sign on your door and whatnot, you can't serve anything but Angus beef, certified Angus beef, right? That's correct. That's correct. Uh, they. Uh, they monitor what we purchase, and and if 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 we use anything other than that, we will lose our rights to to serving this uh, this incredible product. And uh, uh, you know, to cut right through the chase, uh, you know, all the all the specifications sound pretty neat, but you know, the thing about it is, is when you put it in your mouth and you taste it, that's that's where the rubber meets the pavement. So basically, uh, that's that's where it's at. It looks like you've concentrated your menu on, you know, around beef, around right. that particular beef. Talk about that because you do open at 7.30 Monday through Saturday morning, so you're here. I noticed all the jams and jellies and right. whatnot, so knew you had breakfast. But kind of walk us through the the basis of your of your various menu items. Well, you know, we like I said, we do open up at 7.30 in the morning for breakfast. We, we got a good breakfast, uh, um, and, and, you know, we use... Uh, Williams link sausage real good people like that so basically you know we try to use quality products because that's that's what people want mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know we, we start our lunch at around 11 o'clock and uh, and basically uh, we have a, a, a lot of beef on the menu uh, you know hamburgers cheesesteaks I think cheesesteaks will probably be our you know our number one seller mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and 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 the hamburger itself uh, so we, you know, we, we sell a lot of a lot of steak, a lot of meat. We sell a lot of chicken too. We got homemade chicken salad. We got uh, uh, homemade pimento cheese. 
Um, you know, so everything, our soups are homemade. And uh, so basically, I mean, that's what people want. Um, they want homemade products. And uh, it's kind of hard to find that today uh, in the restaurant business because it's all done in house, well, it, at the factory, so to speak. Mm -hmm. the, but we try to do everything in house, and that's what people like. Talk about your growth through the years, how you've changed, because that's one of the criteria that the chamber really looks at. Um, and I tell you what, we're about to run out of time, um, so let's go ahead and choose to take a break now. Okay. And we're going to come back in the kitchen because we want you to, to whip up a little something for us because we're right. hungry, right, Johnny? Right. <laughs> okay. All right, that sounds good. Okay, we'll be right back. Are you just starting out on your own and want to be independent? Do you have a family and need a bigger home? Are the kids moving out and are you downsizing? First Carolina Realty can help. A one or two bedroom apartment or house for those starting out. A three or four bedroom home for a growing family. Rentals, sales, new homes, pre-owned homes, investment property in the city or in the country. Call First Carolina Realty. Now is a good time to make that move. Real estate prices are right, interest rates are low, and there is a fantastic selection of homes available. First Carolina Realty is a full-service licensed real estate firm with offices located at 1100 West Thomas Street, open 9 to 530 Monday through Friday. If you have rental properties and are tired of the headaches associated with managing them yourself, or if you're looking for a new management team to manage your rental properties, call First Carolina Realty at 252-985-2321. Visit our webpage at firstcarolinarealty.com. We will gladly help you with all your real estate needs. Hi, I'm Jean Almond. I want to invite you to bring your prescriptions to Almond's Drugstore. It seems like at those big name pharmacies, they only care about filling your prescriptions and pushing you out the door. At Almond's, we'll call you by name and treat you like family. Our pharmacists are accurate, trustworthy, and eager to talk with you about all your health care concerns. Our cash prices are lower than most and we'll accept your insurance. Call Almond's now and we'll transfer your prescriptions. That's all it takes to begin being called by name and treated like family. You are so lucky because we're going to let you see Alex fixing one of the famous Brian's cheesesteaks. Tell us a little bit about Alex. Well, I tell you, Alex has been with us about uh, five and a half years. Uh, he. Uh, he really knows what he's doing. He's good at what he does. Uh, customers like uh, the fact that, that uh, he cooks their food for them. So uh, he really does a good job out there. He, he knows what he's doing. So uh, right now we're cooking up a cheesesteak all the way. Uh, this is how it's done. That is a certified Angus beef on the grill. And uh, he uh, he's doing a good job over there. It, it, it looks good. Is I, I have one lunch. person? <laughs> yes, that's, that's one cheesesteak. And... Uh, uh, like I say, I haven't eaten lunch, so uh, it looks even better to uh, to, to, to look at it on, on a hung, uh, empty stomach. So, uh. <laughs> when it smells wonderful. Yeah, it does. It does. It, they're really good. So. so each individual order for that is prepared just like that for the cheesesteak. Yes, it's all cooked to order. Uh, we we don't have anything uh, in warmers back there. It, it's uh, when you order it, we cook it. Now, what will he do once he's, is he going to flip it to melt the cheese or will the heat from it melt the cheese? He's going to uh, work the cheese in there and uh, and, and, and get it to where it's uh, uh, down into the beef and uh, uh, and it's all nice and melted. So uh, then after that, he's going to put it on the bun and uh, cut it and wrap it and uh, it's ready to be served. And you have a lot of takeout too, don't you? That's been one of your real growing areas. Yeah, we do have a lot of takeout. We, uh, uh, you can go to brianscheesesteak.com and order online, uh, uh, pay for your food in advance. I actually saved 10% off the uh, retail price, and uh, that's that's done real good for us as well. And uh, so, uh, if we can just just uh, get everybody to order online, and uh, it uh, it'll save them 10%. And I bet you have whole office groups going together, calling in with, you know, this, 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 this. 
Yes, we do. Uh, uh, we, we do have office groups that call in, and uh, they like to order online as well because when you got a big order, uh, the 10% adds up. Oh, absolutely. Okay, well, that just looks wonderful. Johnny, I'm thinking we might need to taste it toward the end of the show, you think? Absolutely. That'll work for me. I'm not thinking we need it pouring <laughs> down our faces at that time. But let's, let's bring in some of your other employees because I, I firmly believe as an employer that the, the people who work for you help make this the success that it is so we want to pay pay honor to them too okay okay all right, all right. sounds good okay i sure do wish y'all could smell that cheese steak that was cooking it was just awesome and we are going to show you and, and want you to enjoy seeing how really really busy because brian you said that right now we came after hours or between right. your lunch and dinner traffic but it gets really crowded sometimes in here doesn't it yeah it does we we uh i mean this is this is a slow time uh and yeah, i guess it's this is the best time to do the interview at the slow time because uh, other than that, I would probably be on the cook line mm -hmm. helping out. But uh, but no, we, we have approximately about 3,000 customers a week that come out here. So, oh, that's wonderful. A so, lot of repeats, I would think, too. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's that's what uh, that's what keeps us in business is, is our repeat. Uh-huh, and you're open, for, is it for three meals a day, Monday through Saturday? That's correct, 7.30 in the morning time, and uh, we close at eight o'clock at night. Uh, Monday through uh, Friday and Saturdays uh, 7.30 in the morning and close at 2 o'clock. So That's a young man's game, I must say. Don't you think, Johnny? Absolutely. <laughs> it definitely is a young man's game. Uh huh. Well, we've got Amy with us, and Amy was running. In fact, I, I wanted to tell you that we were getting ready to start, and, and Brian said, well, you better catch their drinks first. So. <laughs> That's wonderful. That impressed me tremendously that you want to be sure because we're nothing if we don't take care of our customers. That's true. That's true. And so, Amy, tell us what your job is. I uh, wait tables. Okay. And how long have you been here? Uh, off and on, about eight years. Okay. And I, it's my understanding that, Brian, you want to give Amy the privilege of naming the other employees here and just yes, kind of telling what if they if do? She, if she can do it all, that would be great. I, I don't want to leave nobody out. Uh, so, anyway. And you're off and back cooking, and she visits with them more maybe okay That's amy right. tell us about the other employees um we have our waitresses are anna amanda um christian and ashley and then um our register girls are michelle and tina and tina waits tables sometimes too and then our cooks are rylan alex and chasen and do most of the people stay here all day or are some of them here the first half of the day and then other people come in the second half of the day? Um, some of them are here all day and then some of them get off at four and then they're done, but most of them are here all day. <laughs> and is, do you help train the new employees? We take turns. Well, I can tell you that there is the most, how about getting the food behind us and let everybody see this? I think we really need to see this and Brian, you might want to can she hold both of them at once? Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't want to dump, spill this, but that this, is this just. This is the beef tips, and it comes with a salad and french fry, and that's a turkey club sandwich. And, and that's uh, a beautiful salad with grapes and everything in it, too. So, okay. Well, Amy, we're going to let you go, but thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Brian, trace your history. You have not always been, and, and tell us exactly where you are because I'm sure you're very interested in having everybody watch and know where they can come and enjoy your good food. Okay, we're at uh, uh, Bimini Plaza here. It's uh, 1129 Jeffries Road, so basically we're right behind First South Bank here uh, off of Bimini Road, and uh, uh, we've been here for, for 10 years. Uh, a lot of people still don't know we're here, and uh, if that's the case, Please come out and, and, and try to certify Angus beef and uh, and you be the judge and, and, and to determine uh, if it's the best beef you can put in your mouth. So, And you were at a smaller location next door or close to this and ha when did you move into this specific location? We moved into this location in uh, 06. Uh, we started out uh, 01, 2001 um, and we were there for about five years so all together a little bit over 10 years. <clears throat> the first store was about a thousand square feet, and this particular store is, is, is 3,000 square feet. So we had a we triple our size. And do you think one of the reasons that you survived and thrived, as Johnny talked about, which for a non franchise business is, is really not that normal? I mean, it's very unusual, as a matter of fact. Do you think good price points on your food? And kind of talk about that because, it, you know, a lot of people are not going to the $20 a meal type place they're going to good for good home cooking but at very reasonable prices 
That's correct. Uh, I, I think three things here I like to touch on. Uh, you know, number one, the food's got to be good. Uh, uh, so, you know, that's that's the first thing. The second thing is service. Uh, you got to have good service. And uh, the third thing is, is atmosphere. You got to have a good atmosphere. And I believe if you got all that, and number four, which would be price, if, if, you, if you're uh, – uh, competitive price and people feel like that uh, they 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 won across the board. Uh, I feel like that's a win-win situation for 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 us and for the customer. And consistency, that's always really important to me to know that if I go to a place and have something and I really like it and I go back, it tastes the same as the first time I had it and really liked it. Exactly, you know, consistency is is the, is the key issue. Uh, you want to make sure that when you come back the next time, it's going to be uh, the, the same, uh, if not better, than what you had the previous time. And that's part of the certified beef, certified yes. Angus beef, is yes. you know that every time the beef is going to be the quality. That's every right. Every time, no exception. That's right. And, and you know, it, it, it's, you know they, they, they do the work for us uh, at the packing plant. Uh, you know, we only thing we can do is serve the best, and, uh, and, and they make sure that it is the best. And so they do their job as well. Uh, uh, behind the scenes as we do uh, in front of the scenes. So, uh, you know, the, the end result is the, uh, the customer uh, gets the, the best tasting uh, certified beef, Angus beef that, uh, that's on the market. So, and it's, it's good. I want to learn a little bit about you. I know that, that you start off bussing tables, um, and I guess that kind of piqued your interest into going into the restaurant business. But you're from this area, right? That's correct, yes. And grew up going to schools here and, and are one of the people that we like to say in this area, we want young people to choose to stay in our area. Was there ever any, any temptation to leave our area? Well, I did, I did move out to uh, Tampa, Florida in uh, uh, 90, uh, 90 to 93. No, 91 to 93 has been such a long time. And uh, <clears throat> when I was down there, I was in the restaurant business as well, so it, it, it's like I never really could could get it, get away from it. So basically, I guess it was uh, it was uh, it was meant to be. So. And how did you decide to to specialize in certified Angus beef instead of something else? Well, you know, I requested this probably about eight years ago. I know um, the Harris Teeter here in Rocky Mount was was uh, they had certified Angus beef, and at the time. I requested that, and uh, at the time it wasn't available. And uh, so basically, uh, uh, you know, the, the the logo speaks for itself uh, with the cow on it. Uh, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and 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 we tried to get this this product eight years ago, and it just wasn't available. And as soon as it came available, I knew that I wanted it. And uh, so basically, uh, it's it's been a win-win situation. What are your future plans? You know, I think I would like to franchise uh, down the road. Um, that that is, uh, you know, where where I would like to be. Uh, I would not want to own another store, uh, but I, it would be nice to have um, somebody that could could be an ownership and 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 and, and run it the way uh, uh, that it should be run. Johnny, as chairman of the Small Business Committee, tell tell the importance of this to the Chamber of Commerce and to other business people. Well, the part of, uh, as we've talked about earlier, that this entrepreneurship and especially in an industry that is this difficult, I think the, the, the failure rate is about 95% on mm -hmm. non-franchisees. And in the city of Rocky Mount, I don't know exactly how many non-franchise restaurants there are, but I bet you you could count them on both of your hands. You might could count them on one hand, those that have been around here. We all see a number of people coming and going, but it's uh, having young people who choose to stay in the community who have, have uh, yep, Brian's a role model. I mean, he's a role model for every young man and woman that works in this facility, and and that's and he's and he's been successful. It's An great. employer too. We like that you've provided jobs in our area too. So that's we've just are really proud of you. So we, on behalf of the Rocky Mountain Chamber of Commerce and our community, that that 
really esteems and holds small business people up in a high way, in an appreciative way, because we all are investing in our own way into Rocky Mount, into making it the, the town that we love and the town where we want to stay. I want to say also I heard that you're playing a, a Christian radio station, and that, that personally is important to me, so thank you for that. Well, you're welcome. Um, and we just want to congratulate you, right, Johnny? Absolutely. And here's to many more years. Well, uh, thank you all so much. I appreciate the interview. and. Uh, uh, to our customers, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, you keep us in business. So uh, uh, if you haven't eaten here, if you, if you haven't heard about us, please come out and, and try us out. So and bring your friends. Bring your friends. <laughs> try to certify Angus beef. Put it to the test, and uh, and you be the judge. And I've heard once, you, once you've eaten it, you, you won't turn back. There's no turning back. So right. you've got some new customers here. Well, thank you. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank you. Have a great day. See you next week. Mm -hmm.